these Q1 earnings are really going to be a good indicator for what's to come, both for Saudi Arabia and uh, for Ramco. One of the other important things to remember is that uh, Aramco is only traded on Tadawul, and uh, Saudi Arabia has curbed the trading hours for Tadawul very significantly. It only trades about three hours a day, so we're really not seeing a whole lot of uh, price movement uh, recently on Aramco. You can see in that graph there how much movement we saw, and then uh, it really leveled off when they curbed the trading hours. So um, it's it's really a big question of how much the share price is actually or can actually move. When it comes to the, the dividend, that's definitely a huge issue, uh, particularly because on top of this promised dividend to uh, shareholders, Aramco also pays a massive dividend to the Saudi government. And that's also going to be closely watched. It pays a, a what it calls an ordinary dividend. But then on top of that, it pays uh, an extraordinary dividend, an extra dividend uh, that's basically whatever the Saudi government decides or or negotiated, we don't really even know how it's calculated um, that Aramco will give it uh, to function. And there are signs, uh, based on what we've seen from Saudi Arabia recently, uh, increasing the VAT uh, to, to 15% from 5%, cutting uh, expenditures that the Saudi government is concerned about how much money it can take from Aramco. So it's really this push and pull between what the Saudi government believes that it needs and the monarchy needs and what it can actually take uh, will they take too much from the company to ensure that the stock price uh, and and that the company is still seen as as valuable and attractive to investors.